So I thought I'd do an African buffalo sketch. This is one of those 30 minute sketches or sub one hour sketches that I'm hoping to do a lot more of. Um, just to show people the approach that I take when I'm sculpting, but obviously there is no right or wrong way. So I'm just blocking out the main shape of his head and neck and um, cutting it off with a trim curve um, and then just using the move brush for most of this and now about to go into the um, uh, clay build up or clay tubes brush um, I find them equally good whichever one you want to use that's fine and um, they pretty much work the same way Damien standard just to cut in some landmarks such as eyes nostrils mouth nothing too fussy very much just blocking this in, pulling out a couple of ears and um, don't really care about the positioning or whatever of them yet we know we can always move them around afterwards like so uh, just kind of donkeyifying them there, making them look a little bit like a donkey but whatever um, he doesn't look like a buffalo yet anyway so using an insert, mush to insert brush to add an eye uh, and then splitting that from the main mesh uh, and then going back to the main one and sculpting in um, eyelids and stuff stuff like that the rest of it from here on in is pretty much just using a uh, clay build up or clay tubes brush and um, the dynamesh resolution hasn't changed it's still I think 64 at this stage so still fairly low res from a default sphere if you open up the default sphere project and um, I do have some reference on my other screen that I'm using for this uh, just some random uh, buffalo shots I'm kind of using that as a basis for the main structures um, the horns are going to go on at the very end so I'm not going to focus too much on them yet um, I know he has kind of lamb ears there but we can go back and tweak them later uh, just about blocking in the main shapes first get the primary forms down and we'll work on the secondary ones a little bit later so dam standard just to cut in and again define some of those areas a little bit more um, the nostrils I actually cheated his mouth um, I didn't really look at the reference for them when I should have so I'll have to come back and fix them in later fix them up later rather um, yeah so from here on in it's just going gently softly does it with the um, <coughs> with a clay build up brush uh, you can see the resolution is still quite low I haven't changed that um, I don't change that until quite late I don't really see the point you want to work with as few points as you possibly can just putting in some cheekbones uh, and working on realizing the nostrils are way out of shape and going back and working in on them a little bit um, and again you can see in between the nostrils there that there isn't enough resolution um, at, at this res to uh, carve in the line with the damn standard but I don't really care yet it's still about getting those main or the secondary forms in now um, and getting them a little bit more locked down overall head shape isn't too bad at this stage um, One thing that a lot of people do um, when they're sculpting faces like this is they'll take underneath the eye and they'll, they'll add in their eye bags, but they'll make them push out. So they'll, they'll push them forward. Um, and if you look at most creatures, pe people people even, um, the eye bags actually go down underneath. They're almost a straight line from your eye down. Um, so trying not to push them out too far forward and letting them sag, basically. Uh, so from here on in it's pretty much just you know um, take the you can see that now I'm um, taking that clay brush uh, clay build up you can see the res there's a quick flash of the resolution there and um, it's still quite low and I'm just gently going in and just um, working those areas again and just kind of trying to uh, define the shapes a little bit more um, it, it actually has a nice kind of skin texture to it when you when you brush in a certain way you can see as I work along here I didn't have back face masking on so I have to undo some of this and turn that on uh, and then I can go back over this and clean some of that up 
the front and the back of the ear were very close to each other so it started creating these holes so I did create a dynamesh there I did do a dynamesh so I have to to inflate this um, and with back face masking on just kind of build this up again with a clay brush just to get rid of those holes build up again on the other side as well just to be sure that it's now thick enough that when the next time we do a dynamesh it's not going to create that problem so just kind of uh, working the shape now a little bit more um, mouth wasn't really done very well so just working into that a little bit more still not happy with that to be brutally honest but and um, this is just a sketch it's 30 minutes it's just to show what you can do if you're just sitting down doodling basically for 30 minutes flattening that out a little bit by just holding down alt rather than uh, the standard uh, clay build up which will just push out really not happy with that mouth but whatever <laughs> they're such angry looking sad but angry creatures at the same time it's kind of weird uh, so at this now that we've uh, we're using this brush lightly going over it we actually get a little bit more uh, resolution out of it using a curved tubes brush here to do the horns they have this very distinct shape um, and with the curved tubes you can lock the start so you can play around with the other form uh, with the other end and basically move it around and not have to worry about it too much about the start moving which is kind of cool uh, here I've made the, for the horns too long so and I got an autosave there in the middle of it and the autosave will actually drop a version which is why you see two sets of horns now so I'm just going to ignore that while I still have the curve and work on that a little bit more and um, move it with as line turned on and then once I'm done I can delete the other horn go back and delete the other one and then place this as, as if it were a tool or no, it is a separate tool as <laughs> uh, so the horns are slightly behind the ears um, we're just going to select the ears and just move them a little bit uh, just rotate them around a little bit they kind of bring them out as if they're you know displaying them when they're, they're listening to stuff um, so divi dividing the horns a couple of times and um, better do a save and then um, ultimately I'm going to uh, weld these horns back on because they kind of don't look like separate objects on the real thing like so I'm just using a noise brush here and you pretty much picked the first noise brush I found they have this very very rough texture on the top of the horns um, and as this is just a sketch I'll maybe use a I, was going, I think I use a slash brush slash two yeah and just go in and give a little bit more um, texture to the horns like this again in 30 minutes what you gonna do huh? so I am doing this on each of them asymmetrically just to get a little bit more I know there is the, the model itself is symmetrical but for some reason on the horns I decided I should do this a little bit more asymmetrically so now I've welded I've merged the two down so it's welded together I'm just gonna blend this in a little bit more with a clay build up brush um, so the horns actually look like they're part of the body uh, and they, they come from the same place they're not actually separate objects sitting on top it's giving a bit more texture smoothing out the, the neck a little bit and um, as I said if you go lightly with the clay builder brush you can get rid of a lot of the detail that you don't necessarily want your uh, your rougher detail um, and that's pretty much it and uh, just gonna go into the eyes work them a little bit more just define them a little bit so they pop uh, push that down uh, I'm playing this at uh, treble speed this is uh, so it works out about 10 minutes so it was roughly 30 minutes in total again if you had the time and you're going to spend a few hours on this obviously you'd really um, work into this a lot more and put in skin detail and all that kind of stuff like but I think I'm yeah just putting in a couple of uh, heavy veins or whatever um, change the color and 
do a quick turn around just to kind of show the model as it is maybe pull the eyes down they weren't, weren't looking quite um, thick enough so I'm just pulling them out a little bit more and making them look that little bit lazier um, I should really yeah then trimming off the back a bit more turning on and off perspective this wax material doesn't render very well um, so I'm just going to do a turntable without any uh, oh my god the greens are coming in are crazy maybe one last change push that nose out square it off a little bit and one last turn around voila 30 minutes cool hope you enjoyed this and uh, if you like please subscribe i hope to add more in the future thanks